LKB for ISO tubes, LKB2 for DIN tubes, and LKBF for flange connection. Two types of actuators are available, LKLA and LKLAT. The difference between these two is that the LKLAT can be fitted with a top unit. This video focuses on LKB2, LKBF and LKLAT. The LKB butterfly valve controls product flow through a tube. LKB is either operated by means of compressed air using the LKLA or LKLAT actuator or operated manually by means of a handle. When the valve is operated, the valve disc is either closed or opened. The LKB valve and LKLA actuator are characterized by easy maintenance, long service intervals, strong reliable actuators, and optimum design with high quality seals and valve disc. In order to prevent adverse process stops, the customer must service the LKB valve and the LKLA actuator regularly. This video will demonstrate how these products are dismantled, serviced and reassembled. The following will demonstrate the maintenance of an LKB2 valve. Fix the valve with actuator in a vise. Loosen and remove the upper screws and nuts. Remove the actuator. Loosen and remove the lower screws and nuts. Remove the valve body half. Take out the valve disc with seal ring. Remove both bushes from the disc stems. Take off the seal ring. Lubricate the seal ring. Fit the seal ring on the valve disc. Fit the bushes on the valve disc stems. Fit the valve disc with seal ring in the valve body half. Fit the other valve body half. Fit the lower screws and nuts. Fix the valve in a vise.
Fit the actuator on the valve. Fit the upper screws and nuts. Tighten all four screws with the torque value specified in the instruction manual. Supply compressed air to the actuator and open and close the valve a few times to make sure it operates smoothly. Fix the valve in a vise. Loosen the screw in the handle. The maintenance of this valve is the same as the maintenance of the LKB2 valve with actuator. Fit the handle on the valve and tighten the screw. The design of the handle makes it impossible to mount it the wrong way. Loosen and remove the lower screws and nuts. Loosen the upper screws and nuts. Remove the valve and actuator from the pipe system. Remove the upper screws and nuts. Remove the actuator. Pull out the flange seal rings. The maintenance of this valve is the same as the maintenance of the LKB2 valve with actuator. Fit the flange seal rings. Use a screwdriver to remove any air trapped behind the flange seal rings. Fit the actuator on the valve.
fit the upper screws and nuts. Fit the valve with actuator to the pipe system. Fit the lower screws and nuts. Tighten the two screws fixing the actuator to the valve. Tighten the other four screws with the torque value specified in the instruction manual. Loosen and remove the water rejector at the bottom of the actuator. Loosen the screw in the activating ring. Pull off the activating ring. Loosen the bracket screws. Remove the bracket and bracket screws. Remove the connex pin. Pull off the coupling. Place the actuator in a press for removal of the end cap. Press down the end cap and remove the retaining ring. As the springs are uncaged, use caution when releasing the press. Pull off the end cap. Remove the O-rings from the end cap. Remove the piston. Pull off the O-ring. Remove the inner and outer springs. Remove the rotating cylinder. Pull off the needle bearings. Tap out the thrust plate. Remove the thrust bearing. Pull off the O-ring.
remove the needle bearings and the thrust bearing located inside the air cylinder. Lubricate the inside of the air cylinder and the thrust bearing. Fit the thrust bearing. Lubricate the inside of the air cylinder. Fit both needle bearings inside the air cylinder. Place the air cylinder on an auxiliary ring. Fit the O-ring on the rotating cylinder. Lubricate. Lubricate the thrust bearing and fit it in the rotating cylinder. Fit the thrust plate. Lubricate the rotating cylinder and fit the needle bearings. Fit the rotating cylinder in the air cylinder. Fit the inner and outer springs in the air cylinder. Fit the O-ring on the piston and lubricate. Adjust the rotating cylinder so that the needle bearings fit in the grooves on the piston. Carefully fit the piston in the air cylinder. Fit the O-rings on the end cap and lubricate. Fit the end cap on the piston. Place the actuator in the press. Remember to fit the retaining ring loosely on the end cap before pressing down. Carefully press down the springs and end cap. Avoid damaging the piston. Fit the retaining ring. Release the press carefully.
fit the coupling on the rotating cylinder stem. The hole for the screw in the activating ring must be opposite the air release hole in the air cylinder. 135 degrees clockwise for the NC actuator and 225 degrees clockwise for the NO and air-air actuators. Fit the connex pin. Fit the bracket and bracket screws and tighten. Fit the activating ring and tighten the screw. Fit the water ejector. The water ejector must always be turned downwards to enable water rejection. As demonstrated, the LKB valve and the LKLAT actuator are very easy to maintain, and when this is carried out properly, you will retain reliable products characterized by easy maintenance, long service intervals, strong reliable actuators, and optimum design with high quality seals and valve discs.